so find your why this is for new entrepreneurs basically what happens is as i said we get into this ruts of research and uh, all the things for that to stop that to stop stagnancy you have to find that why why do you want to work on certain things find that why and that will motivate you even on the days when you're not you know happy or motivated and being a new entrepreneur it can be a little difficult so this why will help you hi i'm shreya sharan pawar the founder of women trainer academy and today i have with me shreya who is the founder of the brand suja by shreya and we are here for another women trainer success story i want to share with you shreya's journey as a fashion designer and how she launched her own brand so thank you so much shreya for being here thank you so much shreya for inviting me it's such an honor like i'm really ha- glad to share my story So thank you thank you so much for inviting me here. So tell us a little bit about Suja what is it about what do you do in that? Yeah so uh, Suja is basically my baby <laughs> my <laughs> chotu baby that is uh, my brand a uh, clothing brand so mainly we focus on ethnic wear and at this moment uh, it's been just I've just launched my second collection. So it's been just five uh, grateful months, yeah. And uh, Suja is about a, a women's wear brand that is uh, focus that focuses on uh, you know women on the run. So women who are looking for comfortable, chic, practical options. So Suja is for them, and it's made out of natural fibers like. cotton or muslins or you know a uh, semi natural fibers like rayons that are comfortable to wear you know 24 hours yeah. so you don't have to worry about you know uh, getting all uncomfortable or you know so even the designs are based on that so yeah so what's the one thing that you would say is different about suja and other fashion brands what is that thing that you focus on your usp so- my usp that i focus on first of all as i mentioned comfort practicality and also affordability people are looking for affordability so i think suja offers all these things in uh, you know in this umbrella so yeah that is what suja is about and also like the next collection that is coming that the next collection i think around diwali which i am particularly really excited about is because uh, i'm going to uh feature my own uh, prints as well in uh, suja so it it's going to have little quirky little nice prints uh that i think women will prefer women who are looking for uh, you know comfortable yet little quirky element in their uh, wardrobe so yeah so this is about uh, my brand wow so what the kurta that you're wearing is is that styled by you is that designed by you yeah uh, yeah 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 wow it's beautiful it is really lovely Thank you, thank you, thank you, Shreya. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself. Like before you started your business, mm-hmm. what were you doing uh, then? <laughs> so um, basically, I did my fashion designing from MIT Institute of Design. Then I did my job, and during the job, during these working hours, I realized that the job is not for me. <laughs> I'm not like growing there, and I want to do something that makes an impact. So I got out of that place, and then I asked my father to teach me business. And my father is a businessman. He was like, "Tike, do one thing, come here next day, just come." And I went there, and I was like, "Oh my God, that's completely different!" Like here, my father is like, "I was like, oh, oh, it's about all designs and fashion." And then when I went there, I realized how much accounts and finance is like a backbone of the business. it's handling everything you need to have complete control on your inventory your finance what is happening your and that's when i started learning about the business and one year i was around one year i was there and learning accounts expenses everything and there i wasn't doing much of designing because designing part was something that i was like covered with like i know how, what to do in designing and that's when i learned about business and i think i started business uh, i i wanted to work on it and yeah the journey started there but when i wanted to open my business uh, i was a little confused there was no clarity how to bring all the elements together 
there was no pathway and then covid hit <laughs> and all my plans were like on the pause like nothing is happening completely confused what to do and i think that is when i found you <laughs> Yeah. So you joined us during COVID, right? Yeah, COVID during second Indian academy wave. then. Yeah. The second wave. Okay. All right. Second, all right. Yeah. All right. Second wave. It was around I think March or April, and I was going through my Instagram, and that is when your um, ad popped up. I was like, "Tick a webinar, join, करके देख लेते हैं क्या होगा उससे max to max." And um, I joined the webinar, and I realized how much. Like, you know you the points that you mentioned i was like yeah that this is something that i'm looking for and instantly that was my first decision in life where i wasn't overthinking i took the decision in few hours i swear that was the only decision that was taken in few hours i'm not the person who does that i will do all the you know research and la 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 all my thinking all my overthinking analytics over analyzing but this was like done and so glad That I did that. Thank you so much, Raya, for sharing that. So, what personal transformations have you experienced uh, being a part of the community, being a part of the academy? I think, yeah, uh, you know, uh, personal transformation. You know, first I want to share like how much the community has supported me, and that's how I've, like, you know, uh, transformed into someone who's like into you know team working, collaborating. I wasn't the person who is much into collaboration, but then I realized how much this community. members support each other like if we have a question five people will answer okay how oh, sure you can do you can go in that direction i was like and that is when you know i real i started taking initiative as well in your community ke ha and i became more confident in myself when i started taking initiative now there was so much confidence in me it was like ha ha and people were like you know when you have uh, someone support even the task that are uh, difficult and daunting they become less daunting like ha I'll, i'll do it because i have someone's uh, support someone someone has already experienced these things so yeah I, that is what happened during msme i said what is that kya hoga what are the papers about and you like in one of the session you mentioned are kuch nahi hai it's just a admission for your kid yeah <laughs> I was like, ठीक है, let's do that. And that is when I got into it and got my business registered because you were like, हाँ, it's nothing. And I did it, and that was like for me, it was like a huge transformation because I took a step and I completed it and got my registration done. So it, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, tell us, uh, you know, t- uh, tell us something. Uh, when uh, you are in you've just recently launched mm. what have you done to launch your new business so uh, one thing uh, that i did was uh, there were few steps that i did first of all i started talking about my work to people around me uh, i think that is really important oh, uh, in during your conversation and i am the kind of person i'm a little introvert i don't really talk about my brand but then uh, when it started i was like ha i have to you know open up and talk about my brand so first of all that's what i did and then on Inst- i launched it on instagram so i did the teaser post i did i made uh, reels that work in that direction so to launch it these are the few things that i did a uh, word of mouth and teasers and marketing on instagram so that was something that these are the few steps that i took towards uh, launching my brand Great and um, uh, so on Instagram, like you've been doing reels uh, mm. right now, right? So you've been showing up a lot on your reels. You know, please, please share a little bit about that because you've been making such awesome, funny reels. Uh, uh, what inspired you to do those? Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> so in um, uh, I think during uh, one of the sessions, uh, I I mentioned that you know. uh photography and all is fine i can do it i can present myself in front of the camera for photos but when it comes to videos now i freeze and i can show you 100 takes that i took when you challenge all of us you know all the members including me so i was like challenge us to do this video and we'll see and i said in the video i took 100 takes 100 takes and i was like finally i was like nahi let's post it i'm overthinking it let's post it I posted it. उससे confidence आया मेरे ना दो वीडियो. 
and there was I mean hundred takes. But then when I was watching all the takes, I I was laughing on myself. कि यार ये कितना funny है. How funny is that? The take. I was like, if I am laughing on it, people will also laugh on it, ना? Because like I compiled all the things, posted a blooper, and I realized how much my audience enjoyed it. I think before that they they used to think कि कोई bot है that is selling on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> But after this, they're like, "Huh, human. <laughs> She's a human." So I think people also laughed. So it's, it's it was nice to make people laugh. And when I realized the impact of that, now I make videos in twenty minutes. Like it's just it's so quick, so quick. Like in twenty minutes, two three takes max done. Hundred takes to two three takes. That was a that's exceptional, amazing, <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Yeah, because even right now, many a times I take more than two, three takes to do. It, it comes easier to me. Even my friends notice it. They were when they were watching my reels, they were like, "Should you let go? You just let go. You're not the person like you know thinking over it." I was like, "How do I tell you the journey?" But like it happens. Like when I'm on the camera, I just let go. Whatever is coming in my mind, I'll say it. And I won't think and overthink on the content part. I'll just I'm just talking to a friend. That's how I talk in front of the camera. So yeah. Okay. So please share three tips for somebody who's very camera shy, not confident in front of the camera. What can what can they start with? I think uh, I'll, I'll steal your first tip. I'll steal yours. One is uh, you know start posting on the group. Like in not groups, but start uh, sharing your videos to friends. Whatever you're doing, just do a reel of one minute and share it with your friends. Do that. Share it with your friend, your sister, your sibling, or your father, mother, whoever you're comfortable with. First, do that. Okay. Do one minute practice every day. One minute. And second, when you're comfortable with that, then share it on the group or your mentors or people that you're you intimidated by. Do that. Post it. Uh, get their feedback on it, and they'll be like, "No, black and white with you." Okay, ha. This is somewhere you're going wrong. This is somewhere you're going right. And third, I think, keep on practice. Keep on practice. Practice makes you perfect. I went from hundred takes to two, three. Now that was because there was a practice. So I think that is the only thing you can do. Practice, practice. Awesome! Thanks, thanks, thanks so much for bring for uh, bringing that up. So, uh, to to summarize, share with your close friends, share with your mentor for for feedback, and thirdly, nothing can take over practice. <laughs> Really. <laughs> so okay. So Shreya, uh, you've just recently started your business, mm-hmm. and I'm sure you would have faced some challenges. In spite of the fact that you ha- you have a family uh, background in business, mm-hmm. and I'm sure, like you know, I'm sure people think that it would have been easy for you, right? <laughs> Because you have this background, can you tell us a little bit about the challenges that you have faced? Yeah. So that is true. That you know, okay. Somewhere my father is a businessman, so um, I got a lot of knowledge from him. But my father is a traditional businessman. He has never sold online, never, and he doesn't understand as to why are you doing reels. What is the connection between them? Like how are you gonna convert? And he doesn't understand the topic of that. Even when I was, um, so I think the first uh, challenge was. Doing it online and just having the knowledge of how to things on Instagram, because my business started on Instagram, so I had to understand Instagram and social media in general. So that was my first challenge. And posting what content? When I'm talking about Instagram, what content? I'm just posting my products. And I think through you, I got to know. Okay, oh no, it's not just about your products. You have to give some value. You have to, you know, nurture your uh, customers and followers. So I think that was my first challenge, doing it on online. And a uh, second challenge was um, it's a fashion business. So se- second challenge was maintaining inventory. For me, it is uh, my father business was a uh, little different. It's it's different. He is into. Uh, you know grocery and whereas i am into fashion so how do i maintain what material uh, how much material should i take and as i'm a new business uh, like you know i have a new business and a small business so one thing that uh, is difficult for all the new entrepreneurs is getting the material finding out the vendors 
right that is the one thing that is always challenging these uh, uh, when you start out the directions to take so vendors and your tailors your uh, you know all the labors that that you're going to find out so that was the second challenge finding out people that you can trust with your designs so yeah that was my second challenge and how did i come over it like you know you have to keep on looking for people keep on looking for them and for somebody who's just starting out uh mm-hmm. where what would you suggest to them uh what should they do to find you know people to work with like tailors and mm-hmm. other people who can assist them what where should they be looking i think one thing that that they have to do is first of all take out your basically 2 3 days out of your schedule keep all the work aside do your market research go into go to your chota chota tailors you have no idea there are also people like you know uh, in your area there are some uh, women who are also making clothes they are taking orders so i think you can go and check in your area these small small tailors that you can find for your collection so that is what i did i found this beautiful wonderful pe- these few wonderful women two three women who make uh, you know they have chota sa ghar pe setup and they make garments i think i found them so that was because i was looking around i was asking people so it's very important to interact you know going into your area doing the research and interacting with people that you know um, like especially your neighbors they know ki tailor kahan milta hai fashion business mein especially ki tailor kahan milega tumko your aunties your neighbor aunties and talk to them they have you, you never know like they have this golden nuggets so yeah you will find out ke wahan pe so i think research is really important and that to primary research that is going around talking to people physically and, leg work to karna hi padega yeah physically you have to uh, google se tumko kuch matlab aise limited information milegi but then you have to go around and look for people obviously make a list on vendors that you're looking you will find it on google make a list of that and go in there in that area do the research and compare the prices compare all the prices who is giving what price and check the quality hmm. according to the quality you have to do that so yeah these are the few things that you can keep in mind i just primary research is like should be your focus okay go around perfect perfect so uh, so right now uh, what all uh, platforms are you on social media platforms are you on yeah so right now uh, one instagram okay and the other one is facebook these are the two things that i'm working on facebook not really much but instagram is something that i'm uh, working on uh, and also uh, whatsapp can also work so you know i am into depends on uh, business to business i am into fashion so there are many clients of mine who are in uh, from age 30 to you know 40 like that is the bracket and these are the women who are mostly on whatsapp but for my 20 to 30 wala client for them i am on instagram so yeah you have to check your audience and you have to see which audience is using what and accordingly you have to strategize like for instagram you have to will um quirky and you know the reels that you're posting that that has to be according to that but on whatsapp you're talking to different audience you can't be like you know talking in with panache i don't know with swag your insect uh, what's our audience is like very simple so be very like on point with them honest with them so yeah the, these are the platforms that i'm on okay and what's your one big business goal one big business goal so as you know suja is just like few months old <laughs> so i don't have a uh, like a big five years down the plan like abhi to i am like a know, dream a dream that you would want for your business uh, yeah so abhi like i'm the person like you know uh, i'm as i said ki third collection that is coming out it is based on prints so that is what i want to expand on i want to uh, basically take all the different states ka printing techniques and all the printing techniques that are they are, that they are doing or uh, the culture the culture part of it so bringing the culture and clothing together with the language of prints so that is what something that i see myself down the line doing something uh, 
at this moment it's like um for so suja um i'm the model i'm the photographer i'm the fashion designer i'm doing everything but this is the small thing that i want to do for suja okay you know uh making it a print language uh uh brand so yeah oh, that's so sweetly put print language yeah that's a, that, that's a lovely thought actually wow <laughs> great so wishing you all the best with, with that and one last message that you would want to give to somebody who is just starting okay somebody that is just starting one quote that has worked for me that is find a reason bigger than your challenges so find your why this is for new entrepreneurs basically what happens is as i said we get into this ruts of research and uh, all the things for that to stop that to stop stagnancy you have to find that why why do you want to work on certain things find that why and that will motivate you even on the days when you're not you know happy or motivated and being a new entrepreneur it can be a little difficult so this why will help you help you out so that is the one thing that i want to give it to like to all the new entrepreneurs or people who have this new brand baby so that is for them wow well, thank thank you so much yes it's very very important to know why you are getting into business what is the bigger reason for mm-hmm. for uh, wanting to start because it seems very easy to do it seems like everybody starting a business so chalo maybe business start karti hu but yes when you hit challenges only when you have a strong enough why would you and- yeah yeah correct um exactly it happens and we ch- we face challenges every day there are going to be bad days obviously for everyone there are going to be bad days and i think this why when you'll remind yourself now it it will like you know it will like help you and push you in that direction even on days when you're not motivated or not in your own element yeah thank you so much for sharing that so thank you so much for watching this interview i'm going to be sharing shreya's links her uh, instagram how you can reach out to her in the description of this video so you can go check out her work check out the awesome reels that she's been uh, creating and all the fun fun content that she has been uh, creating and if you would like to learn more about how you can grow your business check out the description i'm going to put a link to the next live training that i'm doing so that you can come and attend that live training and learn the basics in there so thanks rea for being here once again thank you so much for inviting me